Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19. I haven't done this for a while, but here we go. We got some new mods and updates. Let's get into these. First one is the Goric Grinder 600 by Polycount. This front mounted crumbler levels and crumbles the soil in front of the tractor. This way, seed bed preparation pre sowing tillage is more effective, operator comfort is improved, and the tilling speed is greater. Price is 20,000 euros, power range of 140 to 180 horsepower, working speed 14 kilometers per hour, working width is 6 meters. We also have the NMC Log Trailer Pack by North Modding Company. I'd like to thank them for bringing this to console. The ETT90 is a Nordic test program to increase haul weight for long timber transports. To increase loading weight, the crane is removed on the truck and the bunks can't be moved. The timber trailer feature hydraulic moving bunks that moves so you can reach them with the timber truck's crane without a problem. Just move the bunk for, bunk, uh, the back bunk forward, load it and strap the timber in place and move it backwards to load the other bunks. Required trucks for this pack, NMC Griffin. Uh, there's a link there I guess you can follow to put on for the internet. Price ETT90 is $60,900. Price timber trailer is $45,000 and different wheel setups. We also have an update to the Easter pack. I don't know why, but uh, the package includes an egg basket, lots of colorful Easter eggs, and a cute rabbit. I guess this is for decoration for the farm. Uh, the change log was for multiplayer supported true. Okay. Uh, we have the Joskin Modulo uh, 16,000 Basic. There was an update to this. Uh, support for manure systems and added more wheel configurations. Uh, Hagenstad, there was an update. Uh, let's see. They added bushes and deco foliage to mod or to mode landscape and egg box directly in pallet of 2.100 ITS. Okay. Uh, we have Oasis Springs. <coughs> they lowered the map brightness and they removed the coyote and industrial sounds. Okay. Uh, Drasternhof. This was also an update. Um, other field textures, new garage and halls, new yard silo, sleep trigger installed, various textures changed, and no new save game necessary. Okay. Net twine holder. With this net holder, you can stock the nets and twine for the Crone Comprima V180XC and Big Pack 1290. Capacity is 8 to 12 net. Price is 1100 euros. Color choice. This mod needed the add-on straw harvest for works. Change log, they added twine. Okay. Uh, farmhouse doormat. Uh, farmhouse doormat with sleep trigger and spawn point. You can place this doormat in front of any building on land you own and want to use as your farmhouse. Price is 100 euros, daily upkeep 1 euro. Seasons ready. Uh, we also have the TLG 600. Uh, price is $36,000, max working speed of 15 kilometers per hour, required power of 120 horsepower, working width 5.6 meters. Update, they fixed the material and new store in the icon. Uh, we also have a placeable ruins with light, priest, uh, 4,500 euros, placeable ruin, priest is 3850 Okay, we have the... Bryry Street Master 30. Uh, this is by Virtual Farming 2K19. Uh, the Bryry, uh, Bryry Street Master 30 is a manure feeder from Lower Saxony, which is suitable for both the terrain and the street. With the rear steering axle, you can get around the bends and corners in the field as well as on the road. The Bryry Street Master 30 is a semi trailer and can be towed by a truck or by a dolly with a tractor. Technical specifications, price is 81,000 euros, capacity 30,000 liters, required power of 210 horsepower, road speed 60 kilometers an hour, filling type, pump technology. Moreover, all default color choice for tank and rims, configurable tires, configurable design, and manure system ready. Okay, we have an outhouse by Diesel Hirsch. A placeable outhouse with door trigger, ideal as a map decoration. Size is 2x2 two two meter, uh, 200 euros, and season's ready. 
Well, that would come in handy for uh, No Man's Land. Case IH556 five, five, series. <coughs> Excuse me. Price is 52,000 euros. Power of 95 to 105 horsepower. Okay. We also have the Lizard R36 by Ruli Christie 1. The Lizard R36 tipper is perfect for transporting all crops. Price is 30,000 euros. Capacity 30,000 liters. We also have the Kuhn FA367. Price is 4,300 euros. Required power 10 horsepower. Working with 2 meters. Okay. Uh, we also have the Lizard G2 by Pan Bartas uh, Zlotawa TV. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, price is 4,000 euros. Color configuration. Uh, we have the Sapphire Plowstar Combi by CG Production. Der Plowstar Combi Der. Uh, this is all in, I guess, German. I can't read it. Price is 5,880 euros, 3 meters, and 190, uh, 190 horsepower. Uh, we have the Vicon PZ Haybab 300 Tether Rake. I don't know why the pictures are not popping up on here, but... Oh, there it goes. It's out by 4D Modding. We want to thank them for bringing this to console. Uh, it's a tether and rake manufactured by Vicon. This classic machine manufactured originally in the 1980s. Used to spread and rake grass for hay and silage. Designed for small farms. Price is 6,500 euros. And the, last but not least, the Joskin Delta Cap. By Rick Black Labelle TWD Modding. Thank them for bringing this to console too. This trailer of the Joskin brand is with its superstructures a flexible power tipper. Cost is $25,000. Loading volume, 14,600, 17,000, and 19,870 liters. Two design options and two tire configurations. Okay, so that is about it for today's new mods and updates. Stay tuned. Be more to come this week.